Hello, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Endgame. <laughs> if you're enjoying the content, please hit a like, subscribe to see more videos, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much, and enjoy the show. Okay, so I was looking at the list, and the next thing that we need to make is the lithium manganese dioxide alloy. So we need an alloy furnace or an alloy smelter to make this product. So we'll do, let's see, alloy pattern. And either one, it's the same. Let's go alloy. The alloy furnace is almost full. The alloy smelter is almost full. Let's do that, and let's see. Yep, we need manganese dioxide. Manganese dioxide is smelted from manganese dioxide dust. It's a fluid infuser of oxygen and manganese oxide ingot. So we need a fluid infuser and we need this pattern. Fluid infuser. Oh no, I don't want to make a pattern for it. I want to make it. Okay, we're missing the, the chassis. Fluid infuser. And then we also need, let's see, I'm going the long way, manganese dioxide, fluid infuser, we need the manganese, manganese oxide ingot, which is smelted, and that comes from smelting the crushed rhodochrosite which we have a bunch of. Let's go, it is a processing pattern, and we'll go manganese, manganese. Thank you for- Okie dokie, so we need the crushed rhodochrosite needs to be smelted, and we need to do a pattern for it. So manganese, Here we go, we need to smelt this. And I'll put it into the, the mechanism one that we have. Let's go enriching, crushing, smelting. Put you in here. And let's see, manganese oxide dust. Let's see if we can order this now. Order 100. Yep, there we go on that. Now we need uh, we need to s s turn around and immediately smelt that again, I guess. Manganese oxide dust. Let's see, can I? I don't need to. I can run it straight into the fluid infuser now from that with liquid oxygen. Cool. So the fluid infuser, let's see if we have any channels over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because they have export buses. I have them up here. This guy, DK Hastener, does not have a channel. Let's go ME interface. I'll give you a channel just because. It looks kind of weird that it's sitting there without a channel. And then we'll put you here. The fluid infuser will get the pattern. And let's go behind it. And 
And yeah, you get the channel because you're touching now. So three, yeah. And now I need to run power and item. Energy. Power. Item. And extract. Always active. There we go. And now this guy also needs liquid oxygen, which we can repurpose from. Let's see. I believe it's here. Oxygen, yeah. And it is. Lapis Lapis. Ender tank. Let's see. I have these on craft. Light blue, white, light blue. Actually, let me just make a new one because I'm not sure why I have these in here. Make a new one and we need two pieces of lapis. One, two. We need the fluid cable. And let's put you right here. Uh, if I put it right there, I'm not going to be able to color it, huh? Oh, let's see. <laughs> or I can do that. So it's blue, blue is the oxygen. Ah, I let go right before. There we go. And we'll put you right here. And we'll do fluid here and here. And we'll do extract. Always active and insert. And now you should have oxygen and enough of it. And let's see if we can do uh, manganese. Am I misspelling it? And Mang. Manganese diboride. Let's make 100 of you. Okay, we're missing manganese oxide, so we need a pattern for what? So it does need to be smelted. Or did I just mess up on the pattern? Manganese oxide, manganese dioxide. Yeah, let me see. If I change this, to this, it should work. Let's go 100. Makes the dust. <laughs> so the dust makes the dust. OK. And the, I can change the pattern. To dust an ingot, unless I wanted to smelt it again which I'm probably going to need this stuff anyway. So I need to change this pattern again. Okay. 
for the dust that I did not bring with me. Wonderful. Grab the dust. This will make this. Okay. This will make this. And then I need this smelting pattern. Factory dust makes ingot. Okay, and I can put this one back. Let's see, you ran out of oxygen. Cancel you. Let's see. Got fifty. Make you. And we need this guy. And what machine? Alloy furnace or alloy smelter again? Alloy. Iron. Lithium manganese. I already have that one. So I should be able to make at least 50 of these. Cool. Fifty. Fourteen. There we go. Lithium manganese. That's the lithium manganese. Then yeah, we need the manganese manganese diboride that we had going. So let's try it again. That's the dioxide. This is the diboride. Diboride is different. Okay, that one is a metallurgic fabricator. Manganesium diboride. Dioxide. Dang. And they're the, almost the same color. Okay. Let me make a crafting pattern. Where am I going? Diboride. Manganese diboride. And let's see if I can find the thermionic fabricator. No. Metal. Man, you're really going to make me go there. What I really should do is I should, every I mean, interface that I see myself using a lot, I really should run it through an anvil to name them. And here we can do this for the manganese diboride. Creates nine manganese diboride. To 
titanium. It is the metallurgic fabricator, right? Yeah, the advanced metallurgic fabricator. Magnesium diboride. Magnesium. Oh, is it? It's spelled differently. Magnesium. Manganese. Manganese. Oh, okay. I'm uh, <laughs> derp. Manganese and magnesium. Cool. We have those. Magnesium diboride. Magnesium diboride. Magnesium diboride. Okay, hard carbon, tough alloy. These are from the arc furnace. Our tough alloy. Tough alloy. Zirconium, beryllium, and graphite. Zirconium. Wow, all of this dust uh, is from uh, exporting the granite, the anglosite, and the diorite into three different rock crushers. We have that. Beryllium. Same thing. The beryllium is from that. Got blueberry pancakes. And a leg spike. Courtesy of blueberry pancakes. Zirconium, beryllium, and carbon. Carbon brick. Was it carbon bricks? Graphite. Graphite. HOP, I got graphite. Zirconium, beryllium, and graphite. And then Osgol glass, osmeridian, and murian. Osglo. Osmeridium. And murian. And now I can go happy with that one again because we got auto uh, auto crafting on Terra Steel. So Osglo glass, Osmeridium. We got Mirian on its way, and then the Psi metals, and that's where I want to stop for the day because I need to learn how how to do Psi metal. Sixty-four. So we're making uh, good progress in the ultimate ingot. Uh, let's see. It's psi metal. What's great is once I get this stuff up and running, uh, when I get the everlasting guilty pool, I can just recreate this stuff by. It looks like if I have a conjuration catalyst under the mana pool, which will be infinite mana. Whenever I drop this in, it'll double. So from that point on, I can uh, I can automate the psi metals. I won't have to use the the gun, I believe, to shoot the product. So let's skip over those three. We'll do fluxed electrum, ironwood, and fiery. Fluxed.
ironwood. Hmm. I must have all of the ironwood in the the one at home. So we have fluxed electrum, we have fiery. The ironwood. Oh yeah, I remember what I wanted to do. I have one piece of ironwood here and I wanted to move the ironwood from the home dimension. Because yeah, the fiery and the ironwood are also coming from our arc furnace. Uh, with our mob crusher and our mob duplicator, the uh, mobs they pop in with uh, twilight armor, so that's how we repurpose them. Ironwood. Oh man, I guess I've had it on blacklist this entire time. So I'll have to get some ironwood going. So yeah, uh, since we ran into, like, I, I want to do Psy Metal next, and since we ran into this Ironwood uh, issue right here, we'll stop the episode a little early. Uh, I know I ran, I captured a Yeti in the Twilight Forest, I threw the Yeti into the Mob Duplicator, so now we have a ridiculous amount of Arctic Fur. That's required for the armor, of course to make the, uh, let's see, did I move any arctic fur? Yeah, I moved a lot of it. So, yeah, for the double jacket, double pants, double boots, and one more helmet. There we go, that's the arctic set. So we got that done too. And I'm uh, also going to start, I'm gonna to work towards making a uh, crimson portal because uh, all of Eldridge is locked behind spawn lesser crimson portal. So yeah, all of Eldridge is locked behind me scanning one of the portals, which I think I've run into one of them in the wild. Trin's run into a bunch of them, but I need to scan the portal itself with the thermometer to unlock the chapter so that I can progress with the void seeds, even though void seeds are craftable. But uh, on that note, thank you so much for watching and tune in tomorrow.